Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the New York Islanders franchise mode. Okay, so here's episode 2. Going to be starting the draft. Of, oh my god, the draft. The start of the season pretty soon here. Um, I have draft in my head because I was looking at the draft class thing and I made a minor mistake. Um, should I look at... Let's have a look at the lines first. So here are the lines we're going to be going with for the NHL team. So, um... I guess it's pretty much what's happening in real life, except hosting isn't playing for them. But uh, here's the first line. Um, out of our top six, only Barzell is a first line forward. The um, Eberle, Nelson, Broussard, Bailey, Lee, they're all, all second liners. Komarov, uh, Beauvillier are both third liners. Hosang's a depth forward. Clutterbuck's a third liner. Sezik is a third liner. Martin's a fourth liner. Um, line chemistry, there's a few plus ones and like a neutral here. Um... I don't know, I doubt it makes any difference, but we'll see. So hopefully these lines will um, get us some wins. Hosting for now, helping the third line. We're going to give him some power play time, which you'll see in a second. But we'll play like that for now. Defense, we got Letty Boychuk, some vets there, Stanley Cup winners. Uh, Pulak and Pelik, and then Thomas Hickey and Devon Taves. So we're going to play with these guys. Um, special teams, here's the power plays. So he's, he's pretty much the first line, plus Ho Sang and Letty. Letty's our best offensive defenseman. Then we've got the second line, Bailey, Brassard, Nelson, with Bavillier and uh, Pulak. Yeah, I think he's our second best offensive defenseman. Uh, Bavillier, he, yeah, he's still 22 years old. He has that top six low, so I think he, he can still maybe grow a little bit to be like a mid-80, hopefully. Uh, Four-man, still just our best players, Barzell, Eberle, Lee, Taves. I gave Taves there just so Letty gets some rest since um, Lee or since um, Letty's going to be on the penalty kill here. So Bailey Brassard. Bailey's technically a left winger, but he has the best face offs on the team at 79. So he's going to be the center with Brassard, Boychuk, Letty, Pelik, Pulak. So our top four defensemen are going to be like the most ice time here. Um, we got Sezikis and Komarov. So I guess these four, Bailey's our best defensive player overall, 87, 85, 88. And everybody else are just like kind of average, mid-80s there, 85 to 86. Komarov, yep, he's about mid-80 there. And yeah, about mid-80. Yeah, everybody wants to average it all out, it's about 85. Except Bailey, his is a little bit higher, but I think those are the best defensive players. I think Anders Lee is up there too, but he's playing some power play time and all that. So we'll give him, we'll give some, some of the third liners uh, some ice time. Here's the three, uh, three man. Penalty kill. So Brassar, Zizekas there as the centers. Um, okay, four on four. So again, just like our best players, Barzell, Lee, Eberle, Brassard, Hosang, Bavillier. Three on three there. Just all of our centers with some... We're playing the two forwards, one D combination for three on three. Short attacker, Barzell, Bavillier, our two young centers. Shoot out like that. Goalies, we're going to go with Varlamov, Grice. They're both... I mean, one overall away from each other, but we'll see. We might do like a split, like five games, three games per goalie switch kind of thing. And we'll see. We'll run the hot goalie too. Scratches. We got Scott Mayfield and Kunakal are the two scratches. Um, Dobson, he's 78 and he's what you call a depth defenseman. But I think we have, like all of our defensemen are better than him overall and... I think we should throw him. He's not playing the minor. He's still eligible to play in the CHL. So we'll throw him in the CHL. He'll play down there. Hopefully he grows to be like a mid, low, mid-80 next season. And if we do that, he doesn't waste a contract. So hopefully he grows a bit for next year. And he'll still have his uh, three-year entry contract. So that's that. That's for H uh, NHL. A AHL, I'm not going to go through all the lines because we don't have many crazy prospects. So our best ones right now are Dal Call. He's 23. Uh, top nine. Um, he, I mean, he still might be something. A former fifth overall, yeah, fifth overall pick there. Wallstrom is already seventy six, so hopefully he might be called up this year if he got injuries, or probably for sure he'll be ready next year. I think nineteen years old, seventy six, top six uh, potential. Lad, he's just buried in the AHL. He has like a five point five million, I think. Did you show? Yeah, five point five for four more years. So that kind of sucks. He's thirty three years old too, so hopefully he just retires soon. Uh, so we got Lad. Well, he's not really the young guy. So it's Wallstrom, I'll call. Bellows, 21 years old. Top 6 there, 68 overall. Uh, Koi Vula, he's all right. 21 years old, top 9, 72 overall. So hopefully he can be like a bottom 6 guy. And Holmstrom, Simon Holmstrom. 18 years old, top
top six, 66. So this guy, only 18 years old, is lots of time to grow. So it's really Holmstrom, Koiluva, Bellows, Lacal, Wallstrom are our uh, I guess five guys to watch. In forward position, defense, not really much. We've got Aho, he's 23. He's a top six defenseman. He's already 76, so he might be called up and down. Watherspoon and Van Sompel, they're both 22 years old. They're both top six, so they might have a chance to come up. And Quenville, I don't know, Quenville, I mean, he's still kind of young. 21 years old, AHL top six, or AHL top two. He might be something in the future. And then uh, goalies, nobody really. Koro, he just be our starter. And then Soderstrom, starter presential. He's 23. I mean, he, he might make it up on our team eventually. Scratches. Most of these guys are just random players the team threw on. But um, this one guy is a defenseman, Salo. Yeah, he's a top six, 20 years old. So he'll, I guess, has decent potential. But he'll just play in case of injury for us. And the power play penalty kill. I just try to prioritize it for like our better, younger potential guys. So those are the lineups for the first season here. Um, okay, the contracts. Good, yeah. Uh, free agents, higher staff, yeah. I, uh, morale. Oh, yeah, captains. Um, I'm leaving it the same. I think it was Anders Lee, Clutterbuck. I think yeah, Anders Lee, Clutterbuck, and Boychuk. That's just the game default. I'll just leave it how it is. So those are the captains for this year. Uh, scout, I made the scout, um, the game automatically scout, pro scout, and amateur scout, so I'm just too lazy to go through that stuff. Hopefully they can find me some gems in the draft, or maybe later during the, the season I'll kind of draft my own guys after we look at the draft class. Um, okay, but here's one of the mistakes I made. There's going to be Cole Caulfield, um, pretty much right here, pretty much, he's like, in the, I think he's like low 70 overall, like elite potential pretty much I was gonna make up all of the um, prospects that aren't in the game from like the US development team Russia and all that I made Cole Caulfield first and then I realized I'm gonna waste so much time making up like 30 prospects so I just gave up and I guess I forgot to delete him so he's gonna be in the game um I guess I messed up too because I thought I put him on Montreal but obviously I didn't so he's gonna be in the draft but whatever it's just one player that's, that might that might kind of mess up the draft so they're still left for any year here It'll be weird if like Caulfield goes first and Lefernier goes second, but there's yeah Lefernier, um, Ra yeah Lucas Raymond he's from Sweden, and then there's other Byfield guys. So those are all the top picks here. The star, what's that? I guess those are recommended. Okay, those guys maybe they're scouting right now. So there's a little mess up there, but whatever, just one player. Da here's the trading block. I edited that. I threw up um. Andrew Ladd and Nelson. It's crazy how these guys combined for like 11 mil and they're 80 and 82 overall. They're both like third, fourth liners. And they're both four years, six years. Like, Jesus Christ. So hopefully, like, Nelson plays with his contract and Ladd, I mean, he's just going to be buried in the minors forever, I guess. Or hopefully he retires within the four years. Okay, so that's everything. So I think we're good to go. Advanced day, yes. Similar regular season, draft. Yep, we're good to go. Um, Let's just sim to the start of the season. This little preseason. Let's just simply that real quick. So Washington here is the first game. Washington, October fourth. Yep, October fourth. Okay, so let's see how we do in the pre in the preseason. Okay, wait, wait, we're in the Metro, so I gotta get used to who's in the Metro against us. Rangers, Buffalo. I th no, I think Buffalo's in the Atlantic. Oh, geez, I don't even know. I think us Rangers. I think Jersey, Washington, Carolina. I think. Cool or not, it was okay. They'll, they'll, they'll do the pros. Okay, I didn't even pay attention. How do we do preseason? One, damn, one in five in preseason. And we had like our top line up too, so. Okay, hopefully um, preseason doesn't really forecast what we'll have in the regular season. So, first game up against the Washington Capitals. They're already 1-0 at the start of the season. So, um, let's start doing like the five game kind of thing. We'll switch after five games. Let both goalies play. Or maybe let's just do four here. Let's give, um... Varlamov, four games, give him that double header, give him a rest for uh, Florida. Okay, so it was already 4 1 loss. Uh, Bridgeport, hell, okay, already injures, injuries. I don't remember exactly what the injury scale thing at was, but if it's way too many injuries, we'll just lower it. I didn't even realize how long he's out for, but whatever. Okay, nice win. Oh, big loss there. Okay, he's back to play. Let's get him back in. 
He was only out for like a couple days. Defense. Let's get what's his name? Hel Helgeson. Helgeson. Get back in there. He's playing injured. Okay, so one and two. Okay, two and two. Not bad, but goals against is not the greatest. Eight goals against there. Or oh, we're gonna shut out there, but overall, I don't know. It's not the greatest. Uh, Florida is a weaker team, but you know what? We'll give Varlam off the break here. So not a bad start to the season. I think we'll go, depending on how long the video, we're at 10 minutes already. I want you to keep the videos like no more than 20 minutes, 20 minute average, unless it's like something crazy, we can keep going. But yeah, that lines, Barzell's at six points. Okay, pretty good there. Our first line's clicking. Okay, let's go to the goalies. I know it's still super early, but um, how are the points? Four assists. Okay, Barzell, he would, oh yeah, we got six points, four points. Uh okay, six point okay. Nelson's right behind him. Okay, he's playing up to his six million contract. Second line's doing pretty good. Third line. Okay, okay, he's like uh, okay. Pavoli has points. Komarov has zero. Hosang better have some points. Only one assist. Minus four. Okay, so far Hosang. Uh is he on the training block then? Okay, Clutterbuck one point. They're plus two. Okay, so our third line's doing alright. It's <laughs> freaking Hosang. No, Pavoli is minus four too. Komarov is only minus two, okay. Letty minus two. Boychuk has two goals though, right? Or two points. Four points. Zero. These are these two are defensive guys, so we don't really need points necessarily. Even though Pulak, I think he's alright offensively. And our third pairing is doing pretty good. So Well I mean it's only four games, so let's just keep going a little bit more. Maybe at the ten game mark is when we could really make a line change or maybe even a trade if Hosang uh, continues. Um, so you got, four, okay, let's, let's just try to make it even. Let's give, uh, what's his name? Four games here. Christ, four games. Let's see. Nice. OT win. Trade. Savard. Oh, I get. Okay, now we're already, we're in salary. We don't need f four mil for two more years. I mean, he would help our team, obviously. We have, like, but I don't want to give up our draft picks. We don't have that many great um prospects all right now so uh central scouting we can look at that at the end of the video okay so far okay two two both goalies going two and two here um you know what should i give i'll give grice one more game here and then we'll get the double header for uh varlamov so arizona they're four three and one so they're pretty much 500 and ottawa's under 500 so let's give grice this game here Arizona should be the tougher team, and they lost. Okay, so we're not doing too great. We're four and five. Jesus. Okay, let's say our first line is doing okay though. We are sixth place. Capitals, Flyers, Rangers, Penguins. Okay, I should remember that eventually. Okay, how are you guys doing? Oh, okay, now you guys are minus all of a sudden. Shit. Nelson, okay, our second line is clicking. Let's just leave those guys. Third line, minus five, minus eight. Okay, Hosang only. Okay, yep, Hosang, you gotta go. Third line, okay, they're plus. Okay, so our second and third line is okay. Second, second, no, second and fourth, sorry. First and third are kind of struggling. How are you guys? Minus two, minus three. You guys are only minus one. Hickey. Okay, third line was playing pretty good. Now all of a sudden. Shit. Okay, Varlamov, let's get him back in. Yeah, uh, what's his name? saying you're you're sitting out. Should I tr should I trade him? I was playing around with the trades, and I feel like I don't know. Trade him to Edmonton. I think I can make it work, but you know what? Let's just um. Okay, fourth line's playing fine. Let's just leave him. saying you're out. Kunakal. Let's just put Kunakal in for now. Freaking yeah, saying is power play time too, and he's not doing anything so. Let's just put in who's our best forward. Oh, you know what? Let's just put in like. Doesn't uh, who's our defenseman that has some points? Who has points? He's already on the power play. Hickey. Boy, I think he has some points. Nope. Only has one assist. Taves, one assist. Pelic. Give okay, Pelic is two goals. Let's put him on the power play. Whatever. Let's try it out. And then I think um, Kunak. Let's get him out. Let's just get uh, Bailey in here. Or let's get Lee. Okay, before we sim though, let's have a look at the power play and 
penalty kill. Where do I check that again? Oh, your team team points. No, not points. God damn it, that's individual points. Go down one. There you go, standings. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, okay, that, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's pretty the same screen. Okay, there we go. Okay, so 12, there we got 12 games. I mean, we only have 9 games, so we still, got, we still got games in hand. Um, Where are we? Nine, Yeah, 9 games here. Uh, Let's do entire NHL. And let's do... Uh, where are we in entire NHL? We only got 8 points, so... Yeah, we're 4 and 5, so... Oh, damn. 27th, okay. Goals 4. We're at... Was it 27? So we're near the bottom. Goals against 29. Uh, we're like in the middle. We're going to work on our goals here. Power play percentage. Philly. Da -da. Okay, we're probably nowhere up here. That's New York Rangers. Islanders. We're probably... Oh, past us. New York Islanders. New York Islanders. Oh, are we... Oh, okay, never mind. 23%. That's... Pretty good. Okay. I guess hosting just wasn't getting points. Maybe. Oh, I guess some of our top players, maybe they're negative because we're getting a bunch of power play points. Penalty kills at 79, which is, yeah, it's kind of near the bottom. Or maybe like, yeah, more on the bottom side. Okay, so our goals at 4 kind of sucks, but we're, our power play is bad. We're just, I guess we're just scoring all of our goals on the power play. Um... Oops, uh, power play. Oh shit, come on. Why does it not reset? Okay, there we go. Bailey, how many power play points do you have? Isn't there a way to tell? Do I have to... Oh, how do you tell again? I forgot. Can I can I go to like his career stats? Oh, here we go. Press X. Okay, I think that's new. Okay, he has 6 power play points. Yeah, out of 10 points, 6 power play points. Broussard's got five. Yes, okay. Our second power play line is doing pretty good here. Five power play points. Barzell. Only two. Oh, okay, yeah. Our first line power play has to be changed. It was probably, oh my god. It was probably hosting, screwing everybody over. Zero. Okay. Everybody probably has no more than like two. Um, who should we get a Komarov just stand from the net? What? Let's throw Komarov instead of Pelic. Komarov, he's nice, you know, just screen the goalie, piss him off. Where are you at? Oh, he's his center in this game. Komarov, get in front of the goalie, and we're good. Okay, we'll leave this line the same because those guys are all scoring goals. Yeah, we'll leave the same. Penalty kill is actually, it was kind of weak, so. Penalty kill. Okay, we're nearing 20 minutes. Let's do this quick. Bailey. Oh, I mean, these are our best defensive players. I guess, um, I think I said Lee was pretty good, right? Yeah, 86. Uh, I guess, you know what? We need, we need to win some games. Let's get Lee. 86, 86, 83, 88. 86, 83, 86, 83. Yeah, Clutterbuck is not that great. 86, 83, 88. Okay, like Komarov and Lee aren't that much off. Komarov. Okay, let's get Lee up here. Broussard. Let's get Lee. I think Lee's a little bit better. And you want know Lee? He's not even a center, but he's 70. I think Lee and Bailey, they're not even centers, but they have the best face house on the team. Yeah, 78. So you know what? Here, let's just try something like this. Get our two top players as playing the center role. <clears throat> and then 5 on 3, we'll leave the same. Goalies, Varmov, you're back in net. Okay, maybe let's go five more games. We'll end it there. See how Kunakel does as well. And then, well, how's our HL team doing? Um, I guess the, uh, wait, which was, which one were they? They're the Sound Tigers. Yeah, they're the Sound Tigers. Yeah, two, two, and two. Um, I don't know if we should bring Hosting down. Just trade them. What am I doing? Wait, let's go. This, you know what? Maybe next video, I'll, I'll try to get a trade for Hosting. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go five games here with uh, Varlamov. Come on, let's go three and two at least. Oh, loss against the East. Loss against the East again. I think the Phil yeah, the Flyers are in our division. 
Okay, Tampa, nice win our division. No, no, they're on the other side. They're in the Atlantic, I think. <laughs> Bellows, November 14th. Okay, I don't think that's that far. Um, Sure, let's throw Lurito in. I don't think he's really a signed player on the team, but whatever. Okay, well, we end up going 3-2, and two, so I'll take it. Uh, we did end up beating... It's buff. Oh my god, I gotta freaking remember the freaking divisions. Yeah, Buffalo and yeah, and Tampa are both on the other side. But yeah, so we, we won against the worst case teams, I guess. But I guess a win is a win. Oh, seven is seven. Oh jeez. Yo, end it there. Um, twenty minutes in, fourteen games, sixteen points for Barzell. 14 points. I mean, only three points under the playoff spot. Uh, Metro. Holy shit, Pacific. Look at that. 28 points. Sharks, Flames, Oilers. Oh, my God. Uh, Atlantic. Yeah, it looks like the Atlantic and Metro are both kind of weak divisions. Like, freaking Pacific's just wrecking everybody. Except the Vancouver down there. 5 and 10. Uh, do we have games in hand? I feel like we didn't have them play that. We had, like, lots of, like, one okay, we're at fourteen, so I guess we're kinda of average. There's already teams at like sixteen games there, seventeen, eighteen games. Calgary is eighteen games there. Okay, not bad. Um Okay, let's have a look at this. The last few minutes here we'll just have a look at the stats. So oh Bavoli oh Bavoli minus eleven. Okay, Barzell, okay, second line, Bailey Nelson, okay, Lee Eberly's our first line is kinda of negative. They haven't been getting much. Oh wait! Oh no! They got a few more power play goals, so hopefully it got better there. Having uh, Komarov on the power play, um, Bovolier. Uh, he's at minus eleven. Jesus, our fourth line's kind of struggling. Kunakel's a minus four. Okay, so Kunakel's not a solution either. Komarov zero point zero power play points too. So I don't even know if he's ah shit. Okay, yeah, we gotta make some moves here. Letty, everybody's minus, Jesus. Pelix, more points than Pullock, okay. Goalies, both their numbers, yeah, they're not going to be that great. Yep, pretty bad, jeez. I guess Christ, 9-10 is not bad. Uh, rookie scares, anybody? Nope, we don't have any uh, Calder potential players here. Okay, there's that. Let's have a quick look at this again. I think I'll make the changes for next video. And, um... Islanders. Oh my god. For a second, say, wait, how are we six in the NHL? But no, that we're six in the Metro. We are, we were seven and seven, so we got 14 points. So we are somewhere around here. 23rd, okay. We are four positions better. I think we were 27th earlier. Uh, goal, let's do goals, four per, goals per game. So 279. Yeah, we're like down yeah, near the bottom here. Goals against, three goals against. Yeah, I say we're still more on the bottom, the bottom end of the spectrum. Power play. Oh shit! I was like, it dropped to eleven. Okay, I probably twenty five. It got better. I think it did because Eberle and all those guys. Barzell had a few more power play points. Twenty five, pretty good. Penalty kill seventy eight. That got worse. It was at seventy nine, but we're still probably yep near the bottom. So good to know. Um, let's have a look. I guess uh, the entire NHL. Just a quick. Um, I'm not gonna go through everybody, but just a quick um, look at the entire NHL. I won't go through rookies or anything yet. Or I guess maybe I will. Here's all the players: Tarasenko, Eichel, McDavid. Here are the top players. Um, let's go rookie skaters. Top rookie skaters: Capo, Kako, 16, Hughes, 13, Kiel McCarr, 13. The goalies probably gonna go by wins. Yep, Koskinen, Grubauer, Jones. Okay, here are all the goalies. You guys can pause it there if you really want to see the stats. Okay, let's see uh, draft. You know, what? it's only been f it's, it's really who cares about the draft class? I just want to have a look at the trades. Okay, let's have a look. I, I really want to get Puliarvi. How are the Oilers doing? They probably won't, won't even trade. They're doing good, I think. Or ten and seven, not that good. Okay, where is that guy again? Yeah, there we go. Dobson's in the CHL. We got two other guys. Yeah, Bodie Wild, and there's another guy in the CHL. I forgot his name. 
Balduk and Newkirk. Hosing, he still has decent potential. Freaking Hosing, I should have played him. <laughs> Minus 17, one assist. He has power play time too. Oh my god, look at this. Dry Sal McDavid. Okay, where are you at, Pulley Let's see how high your potential is. It's not that high. It might be even less than, uh, less than, uh, what's his name? Hosing. Uh, no, she looks about the same here. How's he doing? 16 games played. He is on the older. He he's actually not bad. He has a 11 points, but he's minus six, so defensively not the greatest. Hosing, like obviously one for one. Pulleyarvi is a way better player right now, but I think I can do a few things to sway them. Pretty much, um, they want Hosing, so that's good, I guess. We can take. I know we can take just to, like I don't know how the game does this like salary wise. I don't know if the game sees taking salary as like a benefit or losing salary as a benefit, but we can take Russell four million for only two years. I think we could we can handle that two years. Or yeah, I think we can handle or hopefully maybe we can dump his contract later on too. I think it might be possible. We can trade him for like a seventh seventh round pick. Hopefully a team would take it. We can trade him for like Ottawa or something. But we'll be taking some salary off for Edmonton, which would be very helpful for them since um, I think they might have to sign like Nuge soon and I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll be saving 4 mil. The trade goes up on, uh, on their end, so we have to give up a little bit more. So I guess they would need a defenseman back. So I was thinking Hickey or Taves, but probably t Hickey because he is 5 years older. Taves might just grow to be the exact same player as Hickey pretty much. And yeah, like they're saving, they're saving not a lot of money, but still a decent amount of money for Russell. I mean, we can just do that straight up, maybe. They want both players. In real life, there's no way. I think in real life, this is robbery for us, but I mean, we're saving the money. Poyarvi's playing all right, I guess, but he's a minus six. I feel like this might go through, but this is like che so cheese. I'll throw in like a decent prospect, or like I'll throw in like a second round pick. Like there's no way at first. Like no, Pereira's not that good right now in the game. But something like this, I'll give an extra draft pick. So, I, or I can maybe behind the scenes, I'll go through some more teams. Okay, we're at 27 minutes. This is long enough. Let's end it here. Let's say before the game crashes, where we were seven and seven, all right, seven and seven throughout the season, not bad. We're only three points behind in the playoff season or in the playoffs, but it's still a really early season. Only seven, uh, 14 games in for us. So let's say before the game crashes, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.